Harvest ants are intriguing because not only are they among the most painful of all stinging insects, but their venom is 30, 40 times more toxic than, say, rattlesnake venom. And if you pick them up by hand, well, you might just get stung. The biggest risk around here is not being stung by the harvester ants. I use an aspirator, as we call it. So what I do is I can very carefully pick up the ant. If you do it right, you can pick up just the ant and not a whole mouthful of dirt. It takes a little bit of practice, but you get good at it after a while. It's a little awkward in here. I've been to 22 or 23 different countries. Over this time, I estimate I've been stung by about 1,000 to 1,500 different times. Don't like it, but you know, it's occupational hazard. My research consists of testing various venoms from various insects. I'm doing biochemical and pharmacological tests on them. On the medical level, we can use insect venoms for helping our own welfare, say chronic pain from, from surgery or, or arthritis or cancer or something of this nature. That's the tip of the abdomen, including the stinger. And you put the little bit of venom into there. The idea is we'd like to be able to make a specific drug that targets just the pain doesn't have all these side effects, which are so devastating. So I'm coming up to a collection of Pacific cicada killers. These are probably the fastest wasps that I know of. They're incredibly hard to catch. Most of what they're doing right now is these are males. They're sparring with each other, trying to set up territories to attract the females for mating. I finally got one. He's in the net. Come on, fella, come up the far end where we can. That's a good guy. Oh, I succeeded. Well, hello there, little fella. Oh, I know you're not happy. How can you not admire the beauty of something like this cicada killer? But you see, he's got this clever trick. He's acting like a female. Females, of course, are the ones that can sting. I'm sneaky enough to know that he's just, just a sweet, lovable male, and he can't really hurt me. I'm fascinated with venoms because they allow us to understand the evolution of sociality. But also it helps us understand ourselves. We're social animals. And we can compare our sociality with insects and see what do we have in common. And we can learn from their stories. We can learn to, to love the insects. Or even if we're afraid of them, if we understand them, we can be a little less afraid and a little more tolerant. And that will improve our joy of life. This is a containment facility for our live exhibits. Oh, you hear some hissing? There we go. They have really meaty claws full of muscle. They can use that to grab anything smaller than them. So we feed them crickets. 